Hola people, welcome back to my channel, you loyal three beautiful creatures, you. But for the ones that are here for the first time on my channel, my name is Monica or you can call me Moni or even Miss Aborted because this mess over here has survived an abortion. But I will tell you about it in the future. Today we are here to play with makeup and as you can see right now, I am rocking this tan at least on my body but not so much on my face. Uh, I don't know how much you know about Asian culture, but uh, here it's not really attractive to have a dark tan in general, especially not on your face. Because according to the Asian culture, they believe that the darker the tan you have, the lower you are in the rank of society, as far as I've understood. So my face is white because I'm living in China. I don't want to get fired, haha. <laughs> so why I started telling you uh, this whole monologue about my tan and uh, Asian culture and everything, it was because whenever I have tan, I'm actually pretty lazy on putting on makeup. I don't know if that's true for everyone, but it's definitely true about me because I feel like this kind of sensual side of me is coming out whenever I have tan. I'm like, I feel so beautiful and confident to go out in public like this. May okay, maybe not so much like this, especially because I had like sun allergy this year on my face. I usually have sun allergy on my chest, but this year it was on my face too. So that was not fun. And I'm also allergic to dairy and um, I was cheating a little bit. I had a cheat month almost. So here is the result. But anyways, even with all of that, I still feel confident because I have my tan, I feel slimmer, I feel my, my skin is better, it's tighter, it's shinier, it's smoother. So I don't want to apply makeup. So today I was inspired to do this video about summer makeup that is going to be fun and not too heavy. I'm still going to apply a lot of makeup because that's what I do, but it's gonna be more like light makeup, more like a skin tint or... Because I have this foundation and I've been using it throughout the years a lot, especially when I was younger and then I stopped when I became a little bit older because my skin became more mature so I cannot use this all the time. Uh, but basically it's pretty affordable and it's uh, from this brand Bourjois, I think it is pronounced and uh, it's really good for your skin. It, is, uh, it has uh, vitamin C, E, B5, so basically it's a vitamin mix. And uh, it claims that it can last for 16 hours, but actually, first of all, I don't think it lasts for 16 hours, and second of all, I don't think it's a foundation, but it's more like a skin tint. And the most important thing about this foundation is that, or actually skin tint, is that it's non-comedogenic. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but basically it means that uh, it doesn't have any oils in it and it will protect your skin from breaking out further. I talked about so much about this foundation and guess what? We are starting with our eye. Okay, so I primed my eyes with my P. Louise Huge Base in the shade 2 or it's called The Rumor and it will last me forever and a day because it's like the packaging is so big, I'm using it all the time but I'm not complaining. And long story short, I have base on my eyes and now I'm gonna go with this palette that I don't know for what reason but many people didn't really like it. It's the 35L The Eyes Fantasy from Morphe or by Morphe. And I think this was also a collaboration with this um, chick from uh, Korea. Uh, her name was Peony or Pony, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, they did this beautiful palette according to me with this uh, many pastel shades that I really really like. Many people said that they're not performing well. You just need to find a way to work with them. You know, pastels in general, they are like not easy to work with. They are not blending well. Uh, so you need to be careful. But other than that, I actually think it's pretty afford affordable. It has like a lot of shimmers here as well. Uh, toppers, uh, inner corner ones, uh, even one glitter one because uh, that I'm not so excited about, but hey. It's pretty affordable for the money. It's like, I don't know, like $20, $30. I'm gonna put the price somewhere and you're getting a lot of shades. 
three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I cannot do math. I think that's 35. Five times seven, is it 35? First things first, I'm gonna take this uh, lip liner from House Laboratory, Laboratory in the uh, shade and point because this is pretty light and I'm gonna map out the line on which on top of it I'm gonna place some of these uh, pastel shades because I want them to kind of match and uh, this color of this lip liner is not dark so it's, it's gonna be easily erased or covered with the pastel shades so don't lift your eyebrows because if you do, you can see the line. If you don't, you won't. So, <laughs> very simple logic, right? So, let me try to do this again. I'm mapping out the line. I want at the end to go up. And that's that so let me do the same thing on the other side okay i think that's that so now from the palette i'm gonna go with this greeny limey pastel shade that is called echo so i'm gonna take echo first on a small uh, eco tool brush all these pastel shades, they're really uh, kickbacky. So I'm gonna first dust it off and then I'm gonna apply it on top of where that line is. So, tap, 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 never blend with these pastels because if you blend, they will disappear. And even though I tapped it, there is still some fallout, right? I mean, right, do you agree with me? It's obvious. And I'll apply a little bit more to intensify that color. And I'm just gonna tap again. Don't blend because then the color will disperse. You're wasting your time. And like this is pretty intense, you see? Even it's like on you're putting it on top of a lip liner that is brown, still covering it like there is nothing underneath. Tap it, tap it, tap. Just look at this. But even so, I still like this palette. The, state, the shades are still performing well. And it's still affordable even if you're just buying it for the pastel shades. The dark mattes, I'm not really happy with them, but I don't use them anyways so much. Unless sometimes I'm like, in the bathroom and I'm experimenting with some makeup and then I will do that, but otherwise, no. <sighs> Look at this fallout. I'm gonna re try to remove some of the fallout. Thankfully, I didn't apply primer yet on my face because if I did that, removing this would have been a little bit more challenging. Okay, on another uh, Eco Tool brush, I'm gonna take another shade. And the next shade that I'm gonna go on top of this is Coral Cloud. Still kick back in. Same like the first one. And then I'm gonna start tapping it from where we added the previous one, a little, like towards the right. And then with whatever left over there is, left over shade there is on top of it, I'm just gonna tap and try to gently blend towards the previous color. You don't need to do much to blend pastel colors because they blend in within themselves without a problem. I am tapping the first shade in the, towards the line that the liner is applied and then with the left over, I am going a little bit lower and a little bit higher above that to kind of blend upwards and downwards uh, from that line that I applied at first. So now on another one, another brush, just like the previous news ones, I'm gonna take a pinky shade that is called Sky High. And I'm just gonna apply it here 
not too much like the previous shades because I just want this to be the transition towards the purpley shade or more like lavender shade. Just here to change this coral shade into a pinkish hue. Tap, 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 never blend. And whenever you're happy with that pink shade, then you're gonna take another brush or just like in my case, I'm gonna clean this one and then take the next color, which is called Dreamer. And this shade is dreamy for real, like it's beautiful, lavender-y kind of shade. Okay, and when you're happy with that, then take another brush and then I will take into the blue and I will go into the blue pastel. I what I wish that I can show you. Wait, let me see if I can. How much kick up there is from these shades? Like, look at that. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's crazy. And now I'm gonna apply this blue one, and then slowly I'm gonna drag it upwards and towards the purpley one. So they can blend in seamlessly as usual. Okay, and now we're gonna take a white liner. You can take it in any color, but I think the white one is the best to make all of these colors pop and to get this neon uh, look that I'm trying to achieve of these colors because when you put that white line, all these colors will make the liner to kind of uh, seem like it's glowing. And I'm gonna take the Suva Beauty, uh, the Hydra liner. I think they're really good. Uh, they're not cracking, they're performing really well and they're pretty affordable as well. I love affordable makeup. I just sprayed um, setting spray in my liner and now I'm gonna mix in the liner with my uh, brush that is actually intended to be a nail art brush and uh, I'm gonna uh, mix it until I get the thicker consistency which will be runny enough to uh, be applied but uh, thick enough not to uh, be see-through when you're applying it. Now this is the scary part that you don't want to mess up but that's why we have the line underneath. So what you need to do is you need to go in the middle of this line that we already cre have created with the pastel shade uh, with the eyeliner. So good luck. happy with the shape of this line but I think it's good enough what now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try <laughs> to match it on the other eye you know like so far so good but trying to match this line on the other side is gonna be tricky okay so definitely cousins not twins and now I'm gonna take this uh, liquid liner from ABH and I'm gonna try to apply a thin wing uh, line. I'm not gonna torture you to show you how I do it on the camera, so see you in a bit. I wish it was this easy, but it's not. Anyways, let's continue and now I am going to first uh, do the rest of my face, so let's uh, zoom us out. And now let's do finally my face with the foundation that I was talking about and blabbing for the first five to 10 minutes of this video. Hopefully I will like edit it to be like as short as possible. So before I do anything, I will first apply my primer slash uh, setting spray uh, because this is a multitasking setting spray from Milani, really affordable. And you know me, I really like affordable things. I'm gonna cover my eyes 
in order not to ruin my pasta look then i'm gonna take my sponge and i'm gonna tap the settings spray all over so it can help it dry and absorb faster because this is as i've said it's a tinted moisturizer more than it's a foundation so what i'm gonna do is first i'm gonna start applying it with my fingers because with a brush it leaves streaks with fingers it still would leave some lines but it's gonna be less the good thing about this uh tinted moisturizer is that one shade uh will fit a lot of skin ranges because it's kind of it's not so uh as i've said it doesn't cover a lot it's not a full coverage obviously and because of that it can easily adjust and definitely it will become darker or it will oxidize and right now i'm gonna pass through with my sponge to absorb the leftover foundation and that this is why i don't uh, use the sponge from the beginning because if i do that it will absorb most of the foundation and it won't cover as much as it does right now and i'm gonna take my uh, fit me loose in the shade of light medium uh, from maybelline and this is a perfect uh, shade for me at this moment finally because uh, i am 10 i'm gonna take a large fluffy brush uh, dust off a little bit of it and then apply it all over my face to set this foundation everywhere but around my area where i'm gonna apply my concealer okay tap 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 And now again, I'm gonna go with the setting powder. I'm gonna use my KVD uh, Locket uh, setting powder that is like, not only that I've heat pan, and this is my second one. It's like literally I've obliterated it into all these pieces. Now I'm gonna do my under eye. I'm, I'm gonna use the same pastel shades that I use to achieve the upper look, uh, but I'm gonna apply them on the bottom of my eye. Okay, and I'm gonna try to remove all this for this look. I'm gonna use a light bronzer, uh, and that is the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I'm gonna apply first on my cheekbones. I am gonna use this uh, bronzer as contour as well. I'm gonna try to contour with the bronzer because it's summertime. I don't wanna go through the trouble to apply contour, the bronzer, the whatnot. Even though I've said this foundation, you still don't want to go with it in with really circular motion and strokes with all the rest of the brushes because uh, this uh, dewy foundation or uh, tinted moisturizer might lift. I'm gonna do the same thing here to try to bronze up my forehead, to tie it and try to match it with my and <laughs> 10 which is really really totally different okay now let's uh, remove this double chin area it's like double chin who me no i don't have any and i'm gonna contour my nose so what i basically do is like i don't do too much i take a bronzer or a contour powder and then i try to thin out my nose a little bit and then because my nose is pretty long i don't want to make it too thin because i have a long nose so because my nose is pretty long i'm gonna try to shorten it visually and now apply underneath and then tie it again on the sides and then i'm gonna apply uh bronzer on top of my lips and on the bottom of my lips i'm gonna look like a crazy person that has eaten some chocolate and or like a two-year-old 
that didn't notice that the chocolate was melting and smudging all over its mouth okay and when you will look like a crazy person stop why we are doing this is to make it seem like you have like this beautiful and bigger pouch i love using uh eyeshadow palettes as a blush choice so i'm gonna take the corally uh and pinky shade on my blush brush from real techniques and I'm gonna go between both of them and this is definitely pigmented like look at this so be careful and then I'm gonna apply it on my cheeks so why this is good to use your eyeshadow as a blush um, it's uh, good because like you will always ensure that your blush will ma match your eye look recently I like applying this Diamond Dasher uh, highlighter from Kaleidos. I think it's gonna match perfectly with this look on my cheekbones and on my nose. But for that, I'm gonna use a different brush and I'm gonna dip it here and I'm gonna apply under my brow, tip of my nose, because why not? On my nose bridge a little bit on my above my lips so I'm gonna apply the same highlighter in the inner corner now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna use my benefit uh, precisely my brow uh, pencil in the shade uh, 4 and whenever I do my eyebrows, I actually don't do so much. I just fill them in here and there, wherever there, there are some holes from the hair renewal, you know, like there is always a hair that will just like fall out and will create a hole in my eyebrow. I'm gonna apply this uh, Estee Lauder. Uh, mascara that I got as a gift, uh, the Pure Color Envy Lash Multi Effects Mascara in the shade Black. Uh, that I got it as a gift when I went to Sephora the other day. So let's test it out and see if it's good. And it's like in a mini packaging because it's a gift, of course. It's there, but it's not doing much. Let me be smart and let me do full C's before I do my lower lash line. And now I'm gonna do my lips and I wanted to try the new NYX uh, Shine Loud High Pigment Lip Shine, which basically is from one side, we have the liquid lipstick that is pretty sticky and it's long lasting, they say it's really difficult to even remove it at the end of the day and this is sticky when it dries out it dries sticky but then on top you put the other side which is this gloss uh, that has like this interesting brush that mimics the nail polish brush like look at this and when you apply this the stickiness is not there anymore and it doesn't uh transfer to anything and i want to test it finally it's been here i've been waiting for it to arrive for almost a month and a half maybe two months so let me find any lip liner that will be suitable recently i really love uh, using the julia's place lip liner in the shade uh so rare and this is the looks uh, liner I think I've used it in the previous video. liquid lipstick first on that side 
the sticky side and i like the applicator you see it's like really interesting hopefully it will make my life easier applying the lipstick and it's really liquidy right now surprisingly i thought it will be thicker guess what guys my lights have died i am so amateur so we are here in my bathroom to record the outro so this is the finished look i just put my hair down i brushed it this time with a brush not with my fingers but that's why we're in a bathroom shout out to my loofah yay uh so i've just uh put my hair down i brushed it with a uh this time not with my fingers but with a brush and I've, add, I've done my lower uh, lash and also I put on some falsies which are the Ardell Demi Wispies to add even more jazz to this uh, look. Uh, but besides that, I really like this look. I think it's wearable, it is summery, it is something out of the ordinary and um, definitely I will wear it. I mean, I already wore it uh, like last year, so, something a similar version to this. This year, it's even more intense, the look that I've recreated. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today. And if you want to see more of this amateur mess over here, like and subscribe and it's for free. And you will see more of this interesting content in the bathroom and more of this loofah over here. Until next time, toodaloo! I don't know why, but my bird is always going crazy whenever I am recording. Maybe she's triggered by my voice. Whatever it is, I mean, it's night and they're supposed to be sleeping in the evening, but here we are. So I hope you won't be triggered by the bird's noises and sounds in the background. So as I was saying, um, you're gonna get it. I'm gonna kill you. Why now? It's time for you to go to sleep. Go to bed, Brian. Go to your nest. It's nine o'clock in the evening. Oh no. We have an I have an argument. Now my cat is going.